Hi, this is Ronnie Bencher, the Hangout Helper. I'd like to introduce you to a new tool, which is pretty cool, called Business Hangouts. It's a new Hangout app tailored for webinars, webcasts, and web conferences. And the folks over at Business Hangouts asked me to show you around their Hangout webinar tool. This intro video is going to be pretty quick. It's just going to show you the four-step planner wizard, or what's commonly known as a setup wizard, which is really helpful for setting up your Business Hangout webinar or your web conference. We're also going to take a quick overview to see what this whole environment looks like inside the Business Hangouts app. And let's just point out the fact that it is a Hangouts app. That means it works well with these things, like the lower third, other Hangout apps. So let's see how we get those on. On the left edge, we've got a thing called the Hangout Toolbox, probably. We're going to click on that, and you'll note that everything sort of smushes together. On the right side panel, we've got the Hangout Toolbox. I'm going to turn on a different preset. There we go. Now we're to the place where you're going to go to get this good stuff. And because it's all smushed together, I want to get rid of the Hangout Toolbox area. So I'm going to go to the left edge and simply turn off the access or the panel. And then we're back to what we had before. Now this isn't necessarily what you'll see when you first start out. What you'll see when you first start out with Hangouts, business, the Business Hangouts tool, is you'll see this right here. You'll see a four panel thing. Um, the live feed is up here in the upper left. We've got a map, we've got an auditorium, like a 3D environment, and you can switch back and forth between those with these toggles that I'm pointing to. There's a little four square, you click on that, that's what we're looking at. You click one more time on the empty box and now you see the full screen. That's kind of what many of us in the Hangout world are used to seeing, but this is pretty cool, so I'm gonna bring it back. This is what we first start with, with the Business Hangouts app. And in the upper left corner, that is what's being broadcast. That's your stream to the live people out there. So these are the four areas, live stream upper left, a map, this is of all the attendees, and you know, meaning both participants and visitors, which we'll talk about those in a minute. We've got this 3D environment. You can adjust which one's gonna be shown by clicking on these little icons on the top here. But there's one other thing that might be important. Note here you got a four pointing arrow underneath where it says start broadcast. I'm gonna click on that, watch what happens to these two panels on the right. Okay, they, they sort of disappear. So you're able to get a bigger view, in essence, and minimize, but you're going to get rid of some of the extra stuff that's really valuable. So I'm going to click those four arrows, which says full screen. I'm going to click it again, and now we're back to seeing this. So let's take a look at what are these items that are on the right. We've got a participant list. That means who is actually in what's called the film strip by most people down on the bottom. Those are the people visually on camera. Um, right now it's just me, but you could have up to 10, maybe 15 people, depending on your, your Hangout methods. Uh, we've got a camera, so we can isolate who we're actually focusing on in that stream, and we've got the ability to mute people and unmute them, which is a very cool option. And we've got a list of viewers. Remember, this is a webinar tool, so you're going to have other people using this tool to actually interact with the webinar without actually being on the inside in a camera. Kind of neat, different. Definitely different. So you'll have a list of all the viewers that are signed up or have registered for your webinar. And that's pretty cool. You can click on them and stuff like that. So on the right, we've got this group chat. This is where it all comes together. It's called the unified chat area. This means the participants, people in the film strip, and the viewers, the visitors, the viewers, can actually talk with each other right here in one interface. You, as the owner or the host, can moderate it. That's what this little lockbox thing is for. And the visitors or the viewers when they're typing if they decide they want to raise their hand they can click on this icon and that will allow them to potentially be promoted into the film strip by you the host really really cool stuff very interactive kind of a neat addition to the hangout world all right so now the primary thing you're going to use business hangouts for is to set up webinars webcasts things like that so let's go to the planning portion that's on the far left part where it says plan hangouts we're going to go into the planning wizard so we're going to click on it. This is the first step. You're going to tell it, okay, what's the date and time, and what's your subject, what's the title? We'll call it my big webinar. Uh, this is set for Tuesday, the 27th. Let's make it uh, later in the afternoon. Let's say I want to do this one at 3 p.m. And it defaults to an hour show. You can adjust that. You can change your settings. doesn't have to be just from the choices there. Uh, you've got your time zone, because you want to make sure that's set to your time zone. I 
and it happened to be a mountain time. The fact that it's recurring or non-recurring, this, some pretty cool options there. But we're going to leave it with the presets. In fact, we're going to skip through a lot of this just to give you the basics, but I want to keep going. So we got my big webinar. There's a title. I'm going to skip past the other rest, the rest of this and click save. And that moves us on to step number two. These are the emails that are going to be sent to the registrants, people that actually register, which we're going to see in a minute. So you can choose whether registration is mandatory and these kind of things. And you can make some edits and all that stuff. I'm just going to click next. That brings us to step number three where we have our registration page. Now, I'm going to open this up by clicking on it, and you'll see some choices. These basically are saying, look, when you're going to register, here's how you register. You can sign in with a Google account, LinkedIn account, Facebook account, or a Business Hangouts account. Plus, you can require other things along the way. I suggest just leaving the defaults. Let's take a quick look at what that looks like. We'll click Preview. That opens up a new panel, and you'll see here are the nice pretty buttons where when people are invited to my big webinar, they can choose any one of these and sign in and register. Really, really cool. Let's move on to the next step, which is manage. Here, we get to choose whether we're going to record, make this a Hangout on Air, or not record it. So you're probably going to always have that on, so let's click Yes. Get some other neat options. Let's move down. Registration link, very, very important. This is the thing you're going to copy and you're going to paste into your tweets, your Facebook posts, your Google Plus posts, your emails. You're going to send this out to all the people that you want to get to come and register for your event. Really, really cool stuff. And once they start registering, you can go in here to where it says manage attendees. So that's the process. We're going to save and finish. It tells us that we've saved it. We're good. We'll close that. I'm going to click on the upper left where it says Current Hangout. You get me back here in the big picture or the big squares. And um, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to make this bigger and draw your attention again to this very, very cool tool. Go there, visit it, at, and find out the details at business-hangouts.com.